One of the things that a lot of people have trouble with is figuring out what they want to do with their life, deciding which path to take. They want to fulfill their life purpose, but they're not exactly sure what that is, so they're not sure what to do. So a lot of times they end up on the wrong path. They end up on a path that leaves them feeling unhappy and unfulfilled. See, the problem is that we're too busy trying to keep up with society's standards, doing what's expected of us, and trying to keep up with the latest trends that we don't have much time left for ourselves. We don't spend enough time soul searching, going inward, figuring out what we want, what makes us happy, what our passions are. We're too focused on trying to live up to the expectations of others that we don't know what we want for ourselves. And when we don't know what we want, we don't have a sense of direction. So we get lost and end up on the wrong path. And for a lot of people, when they don't have a sense of direction, when they don't know what to do, they usually just end up following the crowd. Because in society, we tend to have what some may call herd mentality. We allow our peers to influence our behavior. We do what everyone else is doing. Basically, we follow the crowd, like a herd of sheep. That's where the term comes from. Because if everyone is doing it, then it must be right, right? Well, not necessarily, because the direction that the crowd is going in is manipulated by the system. From a very young age, we're already being conditioned to become what they need us to become in order to keep the system running. We're put through this step-by-step -step process in order to mold us into their little workers. And then we're programmed by the media, by advertising and marketing, telling us what to do and what we should buy. Basically what they want are obedient workers and mindless consumers. On that treadmill, feeding the system, going around in circles, working and consuming, working and consuming. And the system was designed to do just that. So if you just followed the crowd, if you just take the conventional path, if you just take the information that's force fed to you, then that's exactly what you're going to become, an obedient worker and a mindless consumer, working jobs that you hate so that you can buy things that you don't even really need, all while having this underlying feeling of emptiness, like something is missing, a feeling of discontent because you're not living out your life purpose. You're just putting your energy into something that you don't enjoy, basically feeling like a slave. Statistics show that 70% of the population hate their jobs. That's 70% of the population that choose a path that is not in alignment with their life purpose. The problem is that most people tend to just chase the money, or the job title, or they just follow what someone else is doing, or they choose a path to make someone else happy, rather than going for what would make them happy. And most people tend to just choose a job that already exists, one that they would be okay with and then go through the required steps in order to mold themselves into the right candidate for that job. Now there's nothing wrong with that. If there's already a job out there that's exactly what you want to do and you think that you would be good at it and you would enjoy it, then go for it. There's nothing wrong with being a doctor, a lawyer, or engineer, or whatever, as long as that's what you really want to do. But if you choose that path because someone else told you, or because you wanted to impress someone, or to make someone else happy, then yeah, there's definitely something wrong with that. Don't force yourself into a mold for somebody else. If you're going to choose a path, do it for yourself. You're the one that has to go through it. You're the one that has to live it. So it only makes sense that you would want to do something that you enjoy, something that aligns with your life purpose, right? You don't want to be stuck doing something that you hate, that's not living, that's dying. So if you're currently in a position where you're contemplating your next move in life, which direction you want to go in, maybe you just want to get something started, but you don't know what. Or maybe you're just not happy with the path that you're currently on and you want to take a different path, but you don't know which one to take. If you want some guidance on how to find the path that's right for you, then pay attention because I'm going to tell you how to find your life purpose. Now, I can't tell you exactly what that is, but I can tell you how to find that out for yourself. I'm going to tell you how to get that answer. But before I do that, the first thing I need you to do before anything else is first get the idea out of your head that your fate has already been predetermined for you. Some people believe that their futures have already been written like as if God has already created this master plan or something and our fate has already been determined for us. Now if this was true then that means that it wouldn't matter what we did from a moment to moment basis. We wouldn't have to do anything really because whatever's going to happen has already been determined, right? That means that I can jump out of a plane without a parachute and survive because my fate has already been determined to go in a different way. It doesn't make sense, does it? Don't believe that your fate has already been determined for you. That takes the power away from you. Rather, think of it more as every possible outcome already existing in the universe and you just have to decide which version you want to align with. The choices that you make will determine the path that you align with. So take back your power and acknowledge that from this point on, you determine your fate by the choices that you make in this moment. Now, 
The next thing you want to do is make a list of all your gifts, all your talents. Because everyone has gifts, everyone has talents, right? Everyone has things that they are naturally good at, things that they can do better than the average person. Maybe you're a good athlete, maybe you're a good speaker, a good performer, maybe you're smart, maybe you're good at math, maybe you're a good writer, maybe you're artistic, whatever it is. Identify what those gifts are, make a list of all your strengths, and when you're all done, take a good look at that list because that's going to give you a first clue of what your life purpose is. Think about it like this. Let's say, for example, you're an amazing artist. You're really good at drawing, you're good at painting, you never took any classes, it just comes natural to you. You're good at anything artistic, but you're horrible at math. Anything that has to do with numbers, you suck at. Well, you're probably not supposed to be a rocket scientist, or an engineer, or an accountant. Maybe your life purpose has something to do with art, or just being creative in general. If you were supposed to be an engineer or an accountant, then I'm sure you would have been gifted with good math skills, don't you think? See, your gifts were given to you for a reason. It wasn't just a coincidence. Your gifts are the tools for you to use for your life purpose. So first identify what those gifts are. Then once you do that, think of ways that you can utilize those gifts. Figure out what they would be good for. And that will give you a general idea of which direction to go in. And once you have a general idea, start educating yourself about it. Do your research and surround yourself with people who are on a similar path and start doing things that are in alignment with that path. And then pay attention to how you feel when you're doing certain things or when you're talking about certain things. Does it make you feel good or does it make you feel bad? Because think of your emotions, your feelings as an intelligence that guides you through life. A feedback system that lets you know whether or not you're on the right track. It's like the language of the soul letting you know whether or not you're in alignment with your life purpose. Think of a metal detector. When you move it closer to metal, it starts to beep louder and faster, letting you know that you're moving closer to metal. But if you move it further away, it starts to beep softer and slower, letting you know that you're moving further away from metal. Well, your emotions, your feelings are like that metal detector. If you feel a natural sense of joy when you're doing something or talking about it, then that's a good sign. That means that you're on the right track, so keep going in that direction. Figure out what your passions are. What is it that makes you come alive? What is it that you can't stop thinking about? Is there a vision that keeps popping up in your head? What makes you feel a natural sense of joy when you do it or get you excited when you think about it? Now, I'm not talking about pleasure because you can get pleasure from drugs, alcohol, sex, junk food, or any other addiction. Following pleasure can sometimes just lead us down the wrong path, so I'm not talking about that. But it's easy to get those feelings mixed up, so you have to be able to distinguish the difference. I'm talking about a natural, organic feeling of joy, just pure excitement. When you get this feeling, that's a sign that you're on the right track, so keep doing what you're doing. But if you're always feeling bad, feeling unhappy and unfulfilled, then that's an indication that you're on the wrong path, and you should probably make an adjustment. That's your higher self telling you that you're going in the wrong direction and trying to guide you in the right direction. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Follow those intuitive nudges, take those inspired actions, and the more you do, the more you align with your life purpose. And you'll start to notice that everything starts to fall into place. You'll start to notice more and more synchronicities. You'll be introduced to the right opportunities. You'll meet the right people at the right time to help you along the way. The answers will come to you at the right time, and you'll gain more knowledge and tools along your journey. You'll know that you're on the right path because you'll start to develop this feeling of being in the zone where everything feels effortless, everything starts to flow, as if it was what you were meant to do. Now, there's no telling for sure what lies ahead, because remember, your fate has not yet been determined. You determine your fate by the choices that you make. You choose which version of your reality that you want to experience. You can either just follow the crowd and become one of them, or you can follow your soul and become yourself. Just pay attention to the signs. Follow your passions. What is your intuition telling you? What are your feelings telling you? Listen to that voice inside you and follow that feeling of joy and take each step in faith and you will find your life purpose.